Hi guys, I forgot to do the intro. Oh no. So this is the intro for our thrift trip to the, I want to say College Goodwill. I want to say that's where this was. Um, it. I went to like five different places to stay, so I'm not terribly sure, but we did find a few things and this is the video, so we'll see you inside. Sorry about my voice. I have like a sinusy thing going on that's just killing me from allergies. Um, so I'm very deep voice today. Um, anyway, so we're in the Christmas here. There's these are bubble lights, and these used to sell great, but you're not allowed to sell them anymore on eBay um, because they contain hazardous materials, supposedly. So I did not pick them up because I'm reselling on eBay, so they stayed there even though. Just about a year ago, you could have still sold them and they were wonderful, but oh well, life is as it is. And I could have picked them up, sold them on Facebook Marketplace, but whatever. So there was a chair and some more. I'm just kind of perusing to see if there's anything cool in the Christmas. There's some pretty mugs and uh, saucers, but again, those are a little long tail and I'm not looking to hold on to things right now. As always, drawn to the angels. That was a cute little mouse bell. Um, and it was NASCO, um, probably, I think it was made in Taiwan. Um, and these are all little bells. So somebody donated their bell collection. There, that was a Hawaiian girl. Um, and Jesus at Gethsemane, one of my favorite and heart, most heartbreaking parts of the Bible, but I truly, um, kind of was drawn to that. So a little samurai kind of porcelain thing or ceramic thing, a little yellow candy dish, um, and it had an orange base, so I was kind of drawn to that for a minute. There's some napkin rings and a seashell um, and more bells and more bells and more bells, um, but nothing is jumping out at me as like, ooh, you must buy this. Um, and these silver rim bowls that are off to the right there, um, I got like eight of them as wedding gifts. <laughs> Seriously, there must have been a sale. <laughs> anyway, um, so I look at the, there's another one in that box, I think. Um, I'm just checking out the clear glass. Again, clear glass is a little slow moving. So cute little Christmas canisters. There was two of those and there's some other canisters. This is on the back wall. And actually, I think this might be my local Goodwill. Um, I didn't think I actually went in here, but I guess I did. I sat in the parking lot and debated. I have this. It's a um, pioneer woman um, dish. Um, it's like a nine by twelve, I think. I actually have two that one and a bigger one at home. And uh, I was debating: Do I need another one? Could I use another one? I really don't need another one. I have a lot. <laughs> An M and M mug. So I always look in the mugs. I'm looking for Fire King mugs. Remember, those are just usually pretty simple, but they have a C-shaped handle. They don't look like much, but they're worth some good money, especially the green ones because they're jadeite. Um, and of course, I was checking that one out to see if it was a Starbucks mug. Um, and it did not appear to be one. And then um, some of those are worth money. And... There are also some like clay handcrafted mugs that can do really well. Um, mugs at Goodwill are going to probably cost you four to five dollars, and the shipping's about ten. So you really need to make sure that mug is worth at least thirty if you're going to ship it. So do your homework. Anyway, um, now we're in the electronics, and I'm just seeing what they have there. And now we went over to toys. So there was a Big Bang Theory game. And I was on my phone. I really was wondering, should I look that up? And I never got around to it. And I should have looked it up to see if it was actually worth anything. Maybe I'll look it up and pop it up on the screen for you. 
So I'm seeing if there's anything in the plush. There's a popping, a bubble popping, pushing mach toy machine, and there's a bag of toys with some figurines. I just did a whatnot sale with toys, and um, I sold some, but everything was one dollar start. So there wasn't a lot of meat on the bone to be made on that whatnot sale. So I'm still pushing through whatnot a bit to see what happens. I see people doing really well on it. Um, that has not yet been my experience, but we'll see. Anyway, um, there's a Texas Hold'em game. So I'm just seeing if there's anything here that really excites me. There's a cute little, I think this is a My Generation doll. Um, and those are okay. They do okay bread and butter wise, probably like 12 to $14. Um, but again, I'm trying to pick up things that are a little more worthwhile. She was very pretty and cute. But, um, seeing our generation doll. They do look a bit like an American girl, so I always do check them out. American girls are worth more money, of course, so, you know, I always look out for those. And there's some more little toys in a plastic bag, little plush dolls. There's a little, um... Supergirl doll and some more McDonald's toys. There was like a Funko Pop in there. Um, Funko Pops are only usually pretty good in my, if they're in the box still. So I put that aside. An empty box because empty boxes are all over the Goodwill. Um, but I still look inside because you never know. There can be something that doesn't belong in there that's worth a lot of money. So just look inside. There's a karaoke microphone. A little dog toy. There were two little dogs. I think there's another one I pick up in a minute here. It's a little puzzle in like a box. Kiss and Bayos. Uh, I, I'm a little shark game. And a little um, put together toy that was not Lego. Um, so I'm just playing around with the things that are on here. There's always cool stuff. In the bags, there's some horses, and I picked up some horses at the, um, I know, after all the horses I picked up from the little thrift a long time ago, I did pick up some horses that were Schleich um, horses, and um, I picked up a few of them, and I'm going to bundle them because they do really well as a bundle, so we'll see how that goes. I'll look them all up, of course, but a whole bunch of puzzles. I only pick up puzzles if they're brand new, sealed, plastic wrapped, because... I don't feel like counting the pieces. I don't have that kind of time right now. And in a minute here, we're going to see, oh, there's a bag of minions. And I did pick those up. There were uh, minions and some other things in there. They turned out to be all McDonald toys, but they're Snoopy the minions. So they went in the cart. And I'm going to uh, be listing those on eBay, the ones that I didn't sell and let not sell. And I'm still digging here in the plush. And there's a little bag of plush. So Six forty nine, and this can do well. Like because think about it, if there's seven plush in there, that's less than a dollar a piece, and that's always a little bit of money to be made on plush, even at a um, dollar a piece. So I have so much plush right now. I really have to be wise about what I buy. There was a squishmallow. Squishmallows are not doing as well on eBay as they were, and um, I have a few still in stock that I bought early on in my business adventure here. That have not sold, but um, I'm always on the lookout. That's give a mouse a, uh, it's a Coles Care, give a mouse a pancake or a pencil or whatever. It's one of those give a, give a thing. So, but here behind this big Squishmallow, which I'm looking at the price, and I think it was like $10, right? $10, $9.49, which is too much because at most I'll get 15 out of it. Um, so I left that there, but this is a Toki Doki. Okie dokies are hot right now, um, thanks to Texas um, Texas gal. She kind of um, let me know that those are a thing. They're especially things when they're little toys. So if you see the little toy Toki dokies, definitely pick them up. You can lap them up and make some money on them. But the plush is still a decent pick. I think it was worth like $12 to $15. So, and it wasn't priced up, so there's money to be made. That's it. Let's see what I bought. Hey guys, so as suspected, um, the phone died about halfway through, but I did manage to pick up an Armada Exchange polo shirt, um, which 
should do pretty well. Probably like $20, $25. Um, it's not huge, but it should do pretty well. Um, and I picked up a pair of Red Duck shorts. Um, again, $30, $35 probably. Um, and I picked up a... Something Night at Freddy's. And I don't know what that is. I don't know what it is, but I know that it's sought after. And I also picked up a Tokidoki plush, um, which is also something that's like very recently popular. And, you know, I don't, my kids are grown up now, so I don't know the recently popular except for what I learn. And Tokidoki is one to look out for, so I did pick that up. It's like a rainbow unicorn. Rainbow unicorns are my favorite, actually. Um, and I picked up a, another Build-A-Bear. This time it was a blue and pink and I think like a blue and pink tie-dye looking bunny rabbit. Um, so I picked her, him up, whatever he, she is, it. Um, <laughs> um, let's see. Um, I trying to remember what else I got. So anyway, um, but I did pick up a few things. We'll do a haul video for that one because I'm not going to be able to do anything about it because it's in the trunk now. But, I'll, oh, and I picked up a denim um, vest, a Levi denim vest, um, which was really nice condition. So I think that should do pretty well. But I didn't want to look up comps on too many. I did look up comps on a couple things, but not on everything because my phone was dying. So I just kind of stuck with what I know and hoped that I know what I think I know. So hopefully it'll work out when I get home. <laughs> don't you love it when you think you know and then you don't know and then you know, you know. So there you go. Anyway, I'm gonna head home now because I've been out literally all day. Um, and my husband said I would be out till five o'clock and I said, oh no, 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 I won't. And the time is 4.27 and I'm about 15 minutes from home. So I'm gonna get an I told you so when I arrive. <laughs> so anyway, it was fun though. I did miss thrifting a bit while I was in France. Um, I had very little room in my suitcase. Um, my suitcase weighed 49 and a half pounds and the limit was 50. So shopping for souvenirs was a bit of a challenge, but we worked it out. I did put some things in the carry-all and kind of switch things around, but it worked out. So, um, yeah, it was, it was good. I, um, I had a great time and, um, but I'm, I'm glad I'm home and I'm glad I get to go back to doing the things I love to do. And, um, I'll be getting the videos up as quick as I can. So thanks for watching. Guys, I'm here with another haul. Um, video from the shopping trip we did on Thursday and this is stuff from the Goodwill um, I think this was from hmm which Goodwill I don't remember that fast it's gone from my mind but I want to say it was the the college Goodwill so anyway um, this is what I found so this is not a lot of stuff but it's still pretty good um, and we're going to go over all of it right now so although this is not nearly as great as the stuff i found at the little thrift shop um in the college town this is actually um still pretty good it's a pretty good group um grouping um some of it wasn't as great as i thought it would be but still good so this here we'll start here this is a levi's um vest it's called a trucker vest it's not vintage, but um, it's a size medium, and it's got pockets. It's got the yellow stitching there, which is supposed to be a little bit older, and the buttons. And then, I don't know if you knew this, but you can check the back of the buttons. They should all have the same numbers on them. That's how you can know. These are all 4001. It kind of gives you an idea of the date. When it's single numbers, they're really old. Um, so these are not old but it's in great condition um it was $5.99 and I have it listed for $75 then this one I thought would be way, way better this is Redhead Brand Company and this is that with the little duck and this is actually a really good um brand generally but for shorts not as great I guess so you know you live and learn 
Um, I spent $4.99 for them, which is not terrible. And they go for about $15. So it's still money. But the other thing is um, any polo shirts that are a big name, including Armani Exchange, which is like the retail brand, not the designer brand of Armani. Um, but their clothes are still really good quality. And they still go for a good chunk of change. So um, you can look for this. This is a Armani Exchange Polo. It is an extra large, and it has a full Armani Exchange logo on the back of it, which is kind of cool. So, um, polo shirts that are designer do fetch a nice little extra bit of money. So, this will probably go for about $30, and I paid $5.99 for it. Now, this guy, he's a Smurf. He is with tags. He's floppy Smurf. He has a tag from 1981, as you can see. Wallace Berry, and I really thought he would be worth like a lot more money, but he's only worth about $20, and he only cost me $4.99, but I was surprised. This here is a Build-A-Bear, and it's a bunny rabbit. She is a spring lilac bunny rabbit, and um, she also goes for about $20. She's pretty recent, I gather. This is a Five Night at Freddy's. This is a Freddy Fazbear, Nightmare Freddy Fazbear, Whatever that means. <laughs> it was $4.49. <laughs> it's pretty cute. But um, Five Nights at Freddy's things can do really well. Uh, this is a Tokidoki. And this also does pretty well. And this was also $4.49. And this is a Rainbow Unicorn Pixie. And she goes for about $15 as well. So not a bad haul. I'll pop up the spent and the um, potential profit up in the... Um, at the end here and thanks for watching.